Okay, so we're just looking at the, some of the benefits that we've talked about of a DML. So we've got you know, things like uh, you know, diffuse output, uh, you know, feedback resistance, um, wide directivity, uh, high efficiency. Uh, you know, what, what, do these, what do these benefits mean to, to you as someone who would, who would go into a room and install this and set it all up and make it sound good? What does this give you? Well, it's a you know, it's an interesting premise because you know I wasn't aware that it had all these benefits. To be honest, I, I the, the the embodiments of the technology that I had come in contact with over the last uh, 15, 20 years have been you know kind of strange. You know, in you know, consumer applications and you know areas where yes, uh, diffuse sound, mm -hmm. but um, actually very poor in th in terms of overall quality and. You know, not re not ready to compete. Let's say with things. I'm not saying esoteric mm, mm. level, but things that were very, very good sounding. You know, in my opinion. You know, um, and over the last uh, couple of years, which I've become uh, exposed to some of the applications that the company's been working on, uh, you clearly see how what you've just described. Um, can manifest itself in a real-world application. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, the diffuse part of it. Um, well, let's talk about the physical embodiment, you know. Mm -hmm. You end up with something that's very, very thin. Right, yes. You end up with something that, um, because of its diffuse nature, uh, critical positioning uh, no longer becomes critical. Mm -hmm. um, there is a, for the fellow that's up on a ladder installing this stuff or, for the industrial interior designer that has to deal with uh, limited space and certainly limited space given to hanging loudspeakers, mm -hmm. um, the physical embodiment lends itself to easily applying a solution in our given room yeah. uh, that works. Um, now, the other, of course, the other benefits in terms of audio quality and perception and and uh, it's um, uh, diffuse output. Well, yeah, I think that's interaction with the room and the space, and mm -hmm. and um, the fact that it it you never listen to the. I mean, I've never listened to the device in the direct field when I'm sitting in a room. You're always listening to the device in in the sound field, mm -hmm. and you can tell that it it behaves very very f uh, nicely with with any given space because of. You know, again, going back to what we had discussed about you know the impulse and the, the energy being released by the by the panel itself. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it ends up being a great you know palette of colors to be able to paint from because uh, it allows you to go into a lot of environments that you know uh, an installer doesn't have to uh, sell the customer say on. $300,000 worth of uh, room treatment because mm -hmm. the reverb time is through the roof and we'll never get anything out of whatever we hang in there, no matter what it is. Yeah. Well, here we can go with something that's easy to install. It's, 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 it's easy to point, easy to hang, and it definitely delivers on, you know, on, um, uh, on the performance. Yeah. So I think there's a, the nice part about it from my point of view as an engineer is I see so many different applications where, you know, um, here's a technology that's relatively uh, mature. Mm -hmm. um, we're finally kind of taking it into a direction where we can actually get some benefit out of it. Yep. Um, it's uh, certainly uh, uh, part of, a, of a, a period in which we're coming up with new ideas, finding out how to use it, where to use it. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be the world's panacea Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not sure. a panacea to the world's audio problems, mm -hmm. but we're certainly, you know, we're in a really interesting position to be able to solve some very specific problems of it. And that's very exciting to me. Yeah. Yeah.